Music Guy is asking, what do you guys think about the unreported month-long anti-China slash Pakistani government protests in uh, Gwadar, Balochistan? One demand is opening the border from Iran and allowing trade with the country. Are you, do you know much about, I mean, no, no, the no. insurgency in Balochistan is one of the longest running yeah. insurgencies in the world, if not the longest. Um, I don't know much about the conflict more in, in more contemporary times, besides the fact that there is a lot of militancy that directly targets Chinese nationals because they don't like the Belt and Road Initiative in their area um, for a number of reasons. And you, well, I don't, I haven't heard about this one, but it's like, if I'm reading this right, it always amazes me that the Baluchis in, you know, are these the Baluchis in the Pakistani side? Yes. Is that what I'm hearing? Okay. So you don't see that level of, I mean, you haven't seen that level of protest on the Baluchistan on the Iranian side, right? And I wonder why that is. <laughs> I wonder if the crackdown is going to be, like, is it harder for the Baluchis on the Iranian side to have the same level of protests? Oh, yeah, music guy is saying yes. Um, well, I would just yeah, so, speculate and say probably yes. <laughs> yeah, no, but it's interesting how the problems are on the different sides of the borders are, are different, right? Like, on the Pakistani side, you wouldn't talk crap about Muhammad or even try to be like, hey, Muhammad maybe is not the last prophet. Like, you wouldn't dare do that. But they actually get to have, like, the Baluchis actually have an actual protest. Like, okay. So it seems like they're, sens they're sensitive about different things because on the Iranian side, it's the opposite, right? On the Iranian side, people are, like, swearing left and right against the prophet. I mean, not like you know, it's not like it's public or anything, but it's still like, it's very, it's a common thing. You know that people hate Islam and people are tired of religion and they make jokes about the imams and the prophets, right? It's not like, it's not like in Pakistan where like every single one of these people has to, is getting, you know, like it's not as intense. Like yeah, he, he, every once in a while, one person like Sohail Arabi gets in trouble, right? But, the, but you have a sea of people like just, just constantly attacking Islam and hating on it, right? Uh, yet, on the Balu in Iran, you wouldn't. I, I think the Baluchis would have a much. I mean, maybe that's going to change pretty soon because protests are picking up in Iran. But you would have a harder time having a protest for the Baluchis, but especially yeah, especially protests that are support that are will scare the government um, about separation. Like separation is a very sensitive like protests that are happening at the borders of Iran and if you know by the by ethnic minorities like the other like the Turks or the Arabs or the Baluchis um or the Bakhtiaris those are extremely sensitive things like the government will be like yeah we're not having any of that um so you know that would be something that on the Iranian side it would be there less but apparently you could do that in Pakistan so it's very interesting how different authoritarian regimes are sensitive about different things. Uh, music, even though they're both Islamic, music guy is saying they've been making basic demands like having clean water and so on, a whole list of them. Yeah, I mean, that's the Iranian side. I mean, are you talking about the Baluchis in Pakistan or the Iranians? I don't know. I haven't seen this protest. In music Pakistan, guy, thank you that's for the context of in his question. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So maybe, okay, so here's the thing. You can't, a lot of, Actually, I shouldn't say that because I could get that could make no. So uh, I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it in a different way, right? A lot of times, that's the only things you could get to complain about, right? Because if you complain about other things, then you become a then they're watching you. They're waiting for you to start complaining about some other things so that they have an excuse to to attack you. I mean, that's for the Iranian side. I don't know how the Pakistani side works. Um, is, is the Pakistani government, I, I don't, I'm not very familiar with the Baluchis on the Pakistani side. Uh, Susie, do you know if the Pakistani side is like, is, is this a, a separation of the Baluchis? Is a big threat on the Pakistan side? Is that a, 
be um, something that they consider. Well, obviously, a... there's a diversity of desires in the Baluchi community, but there is a in some groups a very strong desire for separatism. Yeah, but like, is that something that the Pakistani government is like considers that it considers to be like a legitimate serious threat that they're like, you know, suppressing like kind of like the Iranian side or no? Um, I'm not very familiar with this, so I can't really give like a good mm. answer, but I would say yes. Um, mm. given my very shallow understanding or knowledge of this, I mean, given that this is mm. one of the longest running insurgencies in the world, this obviously hasn't been something that they've been able to fix or like control. Yeah, yeah. And there's still very much a desire for that. Um, and I know that it, within like the founding fathers of Pakistan, there was a lot of talk against provincialism, which is basically mm -hmm. like, cause Pakistan is built up of many different ethnic communities that don't actually have a lot in common besides that they had an unhappy birth through yeah. Britain drying their borders. So provincialism is kind of like dif disintegrating into ethnic groups. And so there's also that kind of spirit of it as well. The, the, the Sistan Baluchistan province in Iran is like most, I think it's mostly Sunni, right? Um, and that's what gives a whole bunch of more stronger separation element to it in the Iranian government's mind. Um, mm. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah. So D is saying China has stripped Baluch's oh, Baluch, a Shia. Baluch of their natural resources with Pakistan's blessing. Yes. Thank you. That's more details into what I was trying to say about, um, China's involvement. Um, and also, D is also clarifying, Baluchistan was promised autonomy and then forced yeah. into Pakistan. I know, Sunni. Yeah. And Rudrush is saying most people in Baluchistan are ethnic Pashtuns, which is interesting. Wait, I thought they were Baluch. Yeah, I think that they're, I thought they were their own. I thought they were Baluchi group. people. Okay. Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Cali, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter, link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest Blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.